Welcome back to the basement yard. How's everyone doing? Danny, including yourself, how are you doing, man? I'm doing quite well. Awesome. S- sir. Stashed up again, I see. Stashed up, stashed up, you know what I'm saying? I thought I would just go for like a real creepy look these days. Yeah, you kind of look like a biker, but like he biked 30 years ago. Got yeah. kicked out of the gang. Yeah, I don't have my vest anymore. Yeah, what's that called again? Your cut? Your, your, cu- your cut or your crest? Or I don't know what it is. I don't know. I watched your, a lot your of colors. Sun- your colors? No, the, the, didn't like Sons of Anarchy, didn't they like burn somebody's tattoo off? No, they just black it out. You can't, uh, can you burn a tattoo? Fuck off? yeah. I don't know. I, th- I thought they just colored the whole thing in and it was just all black on their back. No. You think you're going to get another tattoo? Yeah, 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 for sure. This winter, I'm going to get something. Have you thought, have you started thinking? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've been thinking too, maybe. Yeah? Yeah, but my all my tats are going to be small. Tiny ones? Tiny ones, yeah. Until you get a big one. Until I get a big one, yeah. <laughs> but I'm keep them small. Yeah? Are you going to get on your hand or something? Uh, I'm thinking maybe. Whoa, hand tat? Yeah, but like somewhere like close, like maybe here. Like, like a on, thumb? Like the base of my thumb, maybe. A little thumb tat? Yeah. Nice. But it, it, I don't know. I was thinking about it last night, but it's not, now, that, now that I'm thinking about it again, it's a stupid idea. Are you going to share it with the class? Yeah, I'm going to share it with the class. Oh. I was going to get the Rolex crown. Oh, my God. This little. Why? Like this size. Why? Because, I don't know, I think it's a cool logo. Oh my god, guys. What? Please, don't do that. What are you going to get? I was. You know what I was actually going to do? What? I was going to go to a tattoo shop in Utah and get like a, a the branch that I held onto on the side of the mountain That's on my kind of cool. <laughs> yeah, I thought it would be funny. That'd be cool. I'm starting, I feel like I'm getting to the point where now when you get one, you start to realize like, all right, well. And then it's also like, oh, stuff would look cool there. Well, it's not even that. It's like I feel like it's one of those things that like when when you get caught in the rain and you're like soaking wet. Yeah. And then it stops raining, but it starts to rain again, but you're still wet. You're like, well, I don't care now. Like I'm already wet. You have no problem. It's kind of like that. It's kind of like that with tattoos now. And I'm like, I don't care if I get like a funny thing. Where would you put it? High on the thigh. High on the thigh. Yeah, because you can hide that. Yeah, I mean, it was you something know? you'd only see if I was wearing like a bathing suit. Yeah, it's in yeah. Europe. I see. I think it's cool to have tattoos that like. You can't see all the time, but even if they, if you can see them all the time, it's like there has to be some kind of like decoding process. Yeah, you know. Yeah, you know it was mad funny. Uh, there was a lot of people when I got my tattoo. They were like leaving quotes on all my pictures or like whatever. Like, I'll never get a tattoo, Joe Santagato, Joe 2019. Here you are, and I'm like, cool, man. I mean, a part of it's like <laughs> a part of it's cool to know people like. Uh, follow you that closely but then like a part of you is like guys you know like she's like i guess it's the I first change my mind as a it, human. i guess this is the first time anyone's ever changed their mind in their life i know but like i think tattoos are getting to a place where dude i don't know how people get tattoos of like a cat's asshole as their belly button or yeah. whatever dude wh- and the thing for me is like you don't well, go on vacation you're out like on the beach in like Greece, and then a bunch of Greek people are like, "Is that a cat's anus on was, your stomach?" There's a lot of people that do that, like, uh, like if they lose like their fantasy football league, like they have to get like a tattoo. Or yeah, something. Yeah, but that's yeah, but like, see, I, then I, you know, something like the crown, like a small thing. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, but don't fucking. No, no, no. I'm not gonna put like a Rolex crown like on my cheek. No, but I'm saying like, if someone got like a little thing where I was like. Boop boo, like a poop emoji or something. Like, okay, cool. It's whatever. It's but small. not like a big fat no. anus. No. At the se- you know like what I'm Steve-O's saying? Steve O's tattoo on his back. Of him just like <laughs> Yeah, dude, I rock. You know he has to regret that. Oh yeah. I think he's he's said it multiple times. Like I I could see you with like maybe some kind of a sleeve, maybe. I don't know if I'll ever have a sleeve. I, I don't might think I have build off of this. I might just build off of that. Maybe go a half. I don't know. You could man. do that. But that, that honestly, I would, I would never just get like, oh, you know, it would be cool if I just added smoke to this whole thing. Like, I would just fill it up yeah. with random shit. But, like, would you let it go to your here or, like, up to your hand? No, I wouldn't get my hand. I think I'm too, like, like not – I'm not cool enough for that. Yeah. Like, you have a hand tattoo? Like, you're a bad motherfucker, and I'm, like, a pussy. So, like, I'm not going to do that. Would you ever tat a finger? I would tat, like – I want to get a little bird right here. A bird? Yeah. Looks like a little bird. What, what bird? I don't know. What are these ideas that have no meaning whatsoever? You just want them? But but I'm also like a firm believer that tattoos, like sometimes like they don't have to mean something. But like even a little thing, even something, you don't even know what bird. You don't even know if it looks cool. 
<laughs> if it looks cool, I'm a firm believer though that if it looks cool to you, that's what it is. Well, that, yeah, that's the tattoos reason. Tattoos are like, there's always tattoos where it's like, yo, this fucking looks stupid, and some of them do. Yeah, and like it, uh, and like as a collective whole, it's a stupid fucking tattoo. Yeah, but if you fucking like it, you fucking like it. That's what I'm saying. But though. the cat asshole belly buttons is stupid tattoo. I mean, it's an asshole. You don't yeah. tat assholes no, onto no, your no, no, fucking no. You don't tat assholes onto yourself, you asshole. I have one asshole, and that's it. And it's not getting tattooed anywhere yeah. unless I made like a mold of or made ass. it or made it like on traceable paper. Have I asked this before? Would you make a mold of your asshole and sell it? Sell it? Yeah. So someone could pound your butt. Oh, you mean like do the whole like yeah, sitting like, yeah, in yeah, a like clay? Yeah, like what Asa does, yeah. Oh, like sit in a clay like yeah. bucket for like 10 hours? How many assholes do you think you would sell? Fucking be honest, dude. How many? I don't know. I think I could sell a pretty good amount of assholes. You think you could? Do if if yeah yeah I yeah, think I could one of these companies got would you do it to sell my anus yeah and they just yeah, know whatever. that people were just pounding that ass yeah but I don't know if they're pounding the, the ass. I mean if you track the sales SantaGatoStore dot com right now I feel like people would just buy it <laughs> <laughs> I feel like people would just buy it just because it's funny like oh you know you know that guy that's his asshole that would be hilarious I think you should do it dude. Okay, okay, okay. First of all, relax. All right, I'm just saying this could be a, a nice, lucrative business venture. You know what's going to happen now? Some uh, fucking random place in, like, New Jersey is going to hit me up like, we actually sell assholes. And I'm going to be like, uh. Oh. You wouldn't turn your asshole. have to face the music. You, you know, turn your asshole into a pocket. A pocket rocket. I should I should monetize my anus. Dude. I'm a little scared, Why the man. fuck not? I'm scared of that. Why? Because I feel like, I, I, I don't know if I believe in voodoo or not, and I feel like if someone's pounding my ass and, like, my ass gets itchy, I'm like, wait, am I, is my ass itchy because someone in, like, North Korea is, like, banging my ass right now? You've always been like that about, like... I don't like, know. Like, 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 like uh, voodoo people and mediums. And, they scare me, man. And, I don't and, know. It's the unknown. And, 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 All I'm saying is if some guy in fucking the Ukraine... Pounding that ass. It's just like fingering my butt, my fake rubber anus that he bought on the internet. Yeah. I don't think it's, it, it, I don't, like, I, I'm a big believer in energy. So maybe he could transfer some of that energy into my real ain, and I could start to feel a little like whatever when I'm out with my parents at dinner or something. I don't want to have to, like, feel a Ukraine finger finger when I'm trying to eat trick and parm. Yeah, but, but, but what if it feels good? You're, you're putting a negative connotation on it. It might feel nice. It might feel nice, but not at not at chicken parm dinner with my parents. Yeah, yeah. Nobody wants to come with their parents. That's true. First of all, why are you just under the assumption that this Ukrainian man can make me come? Listen, man. If this guy's paying for international shipping, you better make you come, dude. I mean, that's true if it is international, but we don't know where they're going to set up the, the warehouse. It could be in the Ukraine. I feel like most things start in the Ukraine that are, like, scary. Yeah, then they branch off. Yeah, then they branch off. Yeah, Go yeah. to, like, through Russia a little bit. Yeah, whoa. Was what? what I don't know. They probably tap in this fucking podcast right now. <laughs> no, but like, uh, even though like back on the thing of like tattoos, I feel like tattoos can like help with confidence. You know? Oh, really? Yeah, I think some people get confident after they get like tattoos. Yeah, because they want to like show it off. So they're like, I look fucking cool, dude. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like a part of you is like that's why I like little ones because it's like you can't see them. Like you can't even see that if I do that. And it's like you can conceal them in plain sight, kind of. Yeah, I don't even really know that I have one most of the time. Well, honestly. that thing was like a baby. You were like, I don't know why it won't stop peeling. Ah, something's going on with me. That literally was not me at all. It was it's, the complete opposite. It, it didn't was. peel. No, no, no. But you were like, you when you get tattoos, you baby them. But I wasn't. I was making sure it didn't get infected. But it didn't even peel. Like I was. I mean, it pe it peeled like a tiny bit. But I was waiting for it to be like, yo, is it gonna like do this crazy thing? The thing that's what, what, what's the crazy thing? Like, because everyone's like, dude, it's gonna peel, it's gonna itch, like fucking, and it never like was crazy. It was just very simple. That cream is fantastic. Yeah, dude. Yeah. I mean, I didn't. You didn't cream it? No, no, no. I did. I'm saying I didn't use it to jerk off because I was afraid of getting it inside my hole, and you know that's all kinds of, of burning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, of course. That's another. That's like the top echelon of penis. Burning. Yeah, it was just it sets your dick on fire like yeah. it's like 273 Kelvin. But I, if I, I just feel like knowing that substance and feeling it 
I know that if I had used it, fuck yeah, that would have been a Wednesday, dude. When was the last time you used like some lotion though? No, I never. I, I, I was, not never, but like, <clears throat> and not in a long time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I've definitely, never, I've experimented with you know. Have uh, you ever used lube, dude? I've I've used lube. I use L'Oreal sometimes. You know yeah. what I'm saying? L'Oreal gets there. I've used soap, which I, was not the best idea. But I feel like when you use like lotion, sometimes I get too like stuck at the top of my penis. I can't get all the way down. You get stuck, like like you know, because it's like so slippery that so it's slick. like it's like, and like it's like it's like holding a wet like bar of soap. Yeah, kind of. it's hard to hold on and grasp my dong. Right, you know. Yeah, because it, it's it's too slippery. It could get a little tricky. That's why you got to go to the gym and do deadlifts because it gives you grip strength. Yeah, that too. That too. Well, I I, I could grip the shit out of my dick. Yo, you ever wake up and just like feel like I can't make a fist right now? Yeah, it's because you sleep on your fucking your tendons in your hand, and it happened to me like four days ago. Really? But I was having a fucking stroke. I feel like I just, that just happens to me sometimes, and I wake up and I'm like, I can't make a fist. Like yeah. I could just open up my hand very easily, and I don't. It scares me. Yeah, it's sometimes when you sleep like this. When you, when you sleep like that it'll Buckets just, Yeah it'll sleep like that But uh Yeah but like I think people get like Tattoos for like Confidence Like if they feel They want it for that reason Yeah I mean Listen I, I, I think And like emotional reasons too they get them I think when I was a kid I just always was like You know what I'm just not gonna make this decision And like blah 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 I This wasn't the reason I didn't get tattoos But I think now looking back on it, I wouldn't recommend getting them when at, until you're at least like 22, 23 years old. Only because when you're 16 to 21, you think a lot of shit is cool and it's fucking not. Yeah. You know, unless it's for a very sentimental reason, family member passes away or it's something super meaningful or like this picture that's been in your family for so long or blah blah blah. But I've even seen ones like that and I'm like, dude, that's come on. Yeah, but like even if like you want to get a, a tattoo for your mom and your mom's still alive, dude, just wait till you're 23. Just t I'm telling you, or just until, just or, give it a time, or until your mom dies. One yeah, or, the other. or just wait until she croaks. Yeah, just wait until she croaks, and then now nobody can fucking make fun of your mom's tattoo. <laughs> exactly. You Think know what it I'm out, kids. Think yeah. it out. Yeah, exactly. And like the other thing, like I want to talk about with confidence. <laughs> your mom's not gonna die. She might. Oh man. But, uh, People are like, <laughs> oh my god, Jesus. Yeah. No, but um. I was listening to uh, uh, Shab, one, one of Shab's podcasts, right? And uh, uh, Brendan Shab. Uh, he was talking about uh, somebody emailed him and it was like a bald guy. Yeah. And uh, was saying like, you know, I'm losing like confidence like from like being bald. And like he's he was saying like, yo, like I know like bald guys that like fuck or whatever. But like I started to think about it like this. I was like, yo, if I ever started going bald, it would be a wrap for me. Why? Because it's like, yo, it's like, one, my brother Jared's bald, Mike's bald, yeah, my dad's bald, yeah. I'm the only one not bald, so like I'm winning that argument. I think every you time. would know by now. I think I would know by now, but you never know though. You're but, thirty, bro. Yeah, yeah, and like I still have all my hair. But yo, even if you're if if you go bald in your forties, who cares? Yeah, yeah, but I still want it though. Sure, but like once you hit forty, if you still have hair, whatever. Yeah, but if you see like. If you see like forty year old guys with hair, they look hotter. Yeah, but what are you doing in your forties? You banging nineteen year olds? No, but you still want to. Unless be you work on Wall Street, it's not happening. But if right? when you're <laughs> sick That's bastards, true. yeah, yeah, those guys fuck everything. Yeah, but if you even if you're married with kids, yeah, you still want to be the talk of the town. <laughs> you know what I mean? I mean the town or the, like yeah I know what you're saying you want to be popular amongst the PTA meeting yeah like I want the moms to be like oh yeah do you Daddy's want them to here. dress up he still got all his hair yeah that's silver fox Look yeah and yeah. then I show up you know like fashionably late but I did it on purpose they're all wearing their pearls yeah yeah I they know. know they said yeah, Danny's here Danny's here yeah. with the hair Danny yeah. with the hair Danny with the hair my bald husband would never look like that you can't look me in the eyes and tell me right now that if you started pe going bald in the back of your head that you wouldn't be upset oh I'd be super upset yeah I think it would upset. I think it would really hurt me emotionally yeah I, I would be very very upset um would you take like Propecia and, and Rogaine and shit isn't Propecia the thing that is that's oh no, alopecia. Alope alopecia. alopecia. Okay. Propecia, alopecia, peaches. The peaches. Put the peaches together. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, that was fire, dude. Like a puzzle. Yeah. I mean, uh. that was lesbian scissoring that you did there. Yeah, I saw like, and can we fuck girls like this? 
Can we scissor with them with our dicks? Yeah, we could. Yeah, but it would probably hurt because you got to like fold your boner down. That's fine. It's not fine. You ever fold your boner down? Yeah, it hurts. It, yeah, I mean, it's it's some pain. But I mean, it's, it's, it is it's, pain that I'm willing to deal with. Yeah, it's good hurt. But would you, you'd scissor? I I'd mean, fu- yeah, I'd scissor hard. In theory, you could. Yeah. But I feel like. Wait, is she facing, we're facing different ways. So she's looking that. I think you're, I'm, then I'd go this way. If I'm doing that. And then I'm here. Yeah. Yeah, see? Yeah, we're facing different yeah. ways. This Ooh. is this is nice from a distance. Yeah, this I I feel good just doing this. I, I can't. Your foot's bothering me though. You don't. Like, you're not a big feet guy. <laughs> not a big foot guy. But yeah, but like I think balding in men, you know. Yeah. Because you know females can if go I, bald too. To give you the short answer, if I started balding right now, yeah, I, I would I would be upset. You would take steps to not go bald. One hundred. Yeah, I would. I would. I would. See. I think that I would just I would accept it, but just like really feel sorry for myself. See, and that's the thing. I think that <laughs> I think that uh, I think that if I started to notice it and it was bad, like if I had a very thin patch on the back of my yeah. head, that's usually like the first one, right? Uh, no, some of them have the receding hairline. Yeah, but I feel like everyone's hairline recedes. Yeah, at some point, but yeah, like I feel like I have like at in your twenties, mm-hmm. your your hair your body starts to like get older. Yeah. Um, and I think I've already seen the like r- recede, but it's so minimal because like I always freak out. I'm like, wait, <laughs> you know, but I've always, oh, yeah. So you have premature freak outs too. I have them too. Like if I rub my hair too much in the shower and I'm like, this is way too much hair, dude. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Cause if you wear hats and then do that. Yeah. I'm like, whoa, out. whoa, whoa. Yeah. The thing is like, I've always had a high hairline, like on the right side of my head. Yeah, it yeah. goes up high. Yeah. So like when my hair is a certain way. Sometimes it's like, yeah, what did you have brain surgery? Like, why does it go like it's it's like it look it just looks strange. So uh, I've <laughs> always you had brain surgery. I've always had like a bigger forehead. Yeah, right. Which it's not like huge. Fat old fucking head. <laughs> yeah, look at this bad boy. That's that, that's fine. No, it's not that bad. Uh, <laughs> no, but I used to get buzz cuts. You could tell we're already like sensitive because like we'd be like, yo, it's not that bad. It's not. No. It's, <laughs> it's not terrible. No, I'm I'm really not that like crazy about it, um, but. <laughs> Uh, you used to get you used to get uh, baldies. Yeah, I used to get buzz cuts all the time. So my forehead was like gigantic, but I never even thought about it when I was younger. So no one, no one ever said anything. No. But then I started to notice it, and I'm like, I got a pretty big forehead there. But it's like you know, it's whatever. But you hide it with your hair now. You say, is that what you're saying? No, I don't hide. I don't. Not it's hard really. to hide your forehead. You can't hide a forehead. You can get bangs. I don't like pull my hair back. If that's what you mean. Do you think you'll ever grow hair like long? I would love to do that when I'm Why don't older. you just do it one time? I don't you know. You just try to grow your hair long right now. No. Because you got kind of long hair right now. Just I, keep it clean. I can't. I'm not established yet. Not established yet. I would say you're established. I wouldn't. I have big dreams, man. And you can't be like a a, a biker dude. Nah, break the mold. No, nah, I'm just not. Cool. Create your I'm, own lane. I'm not cool enough for long hair. Yes, you are, dude. I'm Yo, really with those not. fucking eyes, bro. Are I have, you kidding me? Listen, I have great eyes, but I got soft what eyes. What color are those eyes again? I don't know. Like hazel, maybe they're greeny. They're green. That already makes you rare. That's not what. You know how rare it is to not have brown eyes. You got brown eyes. Fucking deep chestnut. Those are deep chestnut. Those look like, oh, it looks like the side of a house in Hunter Mountain. Goddamn right. Fucking yeah. light a fire in these eyes. But but with you, it's like, I never really notice because like they have like a small hint of brown in them. Yeah, when you look into my eyes, it's kind of like looking into a kaleidoscope. Yeah, there's a lot of difference. There's moving parts. Does any Keith has brown eyes? Man, I don't know my own eyes. You think I know other people's eyes? Shannon has blue eyes. Though. Shannon has blue eyes. Yeah. That what color mean. eyes does your mother have? Uh, nothing. I have no idea. <laughs> I don't even know if she has eyes. Does your dad have eyes? My dad's got eyes. He's got eyes. He's, he has the only eyes in the family that don't require contacts or glasses. Too. How does that work? Oh yeah, your mom. But he's deaf, so he traded his hearing in for for his sight. So yeah, I mean, I would I would trade my hearing in for my sight too. My, he used to dig his ears Does out. Your, with, like, your dad still teeth. has hair? Yeah, he's got hair. Yeah. So you, my mom's dad didn't have hair, which I think that's where that comes from. Thomas has his hair. Yeah, everyone has their. Keith hair. Keith has his hair. Everyone. The my the how only, is nobody bald in your family? It doesn't make sense. My mom's dad was bald. Okay. I never met him. But I thought you were supposed to get your mom's dad's hair. Isn't that I like fi- the tall yeah, tale? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like it's your mother's uh, dad. Yeah. How does that? That's bullshit. I don't know, but we all have our hair. My dad has his hair. Uh, but my cousins, one of my cousins who are Santagatos, they are all like 
thinning. Gross. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, they're they're just they're th- they're thinner. Yeah. But even their dad has his hair, but it's like thin, but it still holds on. Yeah, but but like see, like for me, listen, I'm a fat boy. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you're a fat boy. So, but like, <laughs> <laughs> good old shit. So all right, so like. A, a bit, <laughs> In my fat state right now, yeah. I'm vulnerable. You know what I'm saying? I'm a vulnerable fat man. I don't believe it for a second. Go ahead. No, no, but you know what I'm saying. Like, yeah. you if, I, if I was losing my hair too, yeah, I'd, I'd, I'd probably phone it in. You probably wouldn't have that mustache. No, I'd have a fucking beard though. Yeah, you got to get a big beard if yeah. you're gonna go. Yeah, I would get like beard implants. I'd be like, yo, fuck this hair on my head. Just let me have the coolest fucking beard. I mean, of all I've time. seen you have a big beard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But like, I want like a cool one, like uh. Your boy, Rob, fucking Robbie Beards. Yeah, got a beard on him. Big Rob. Yeah, and I and see, and he does it right. Yeah, big guy. Let me grow the beard. Yeah, and he's like a a solid big guy. He's like a keg. Like, yeah. like you know what I mean? Like you can't move. That bullets man. would fly off of this man. Yeah. Now, if I were to go bald though, yeah. in this physical state that I'm in now, yeah. I'd have to shut things down emotionally for like at least seventy two hours. No, I think that if you, yeah, 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 seventy two hours for sure. But I think that uh, if you went bald, yeah, and you just like maybe dropped twenty pounds and then just worked out like crazy, you'd be fucking killing it. Yeah, that's true. And had a beard. Yeah. But like, look at me. Because I need the beard. Because if uh, when when. I lose twenty five pounds. I'll still have a little little lat. You know what I'm saying? A little little under neck. Yeah, some neck stuff. Yeah, exactly. I'll yeah. still have that. You know what <laughs> yeah, I mean? Yeah, you will. You know, but if I grow the beard and drop twenty five, this jawline gonna be popping a little bit. So then, if I have the beard, gonna hide it. Yeah, it's gonna look sexy. It's gonna, it's gonna hide it. I'm honestly looking forward to that. Scat. Don't do that. Also, you just said scat. I'm pretty sure that's like poop sex. Isn't scat that, is poop sex? Isn't that poop sex? No, scat is like jazz, like scuba dap bap doop dap doop. No, but I also think scatting is like poop. I'm pretty sure scatting's poop. No. Scattering, maybe? No, like scattering your poop about? No, that's not it. That'd be so weird. Like, listen, I've done some weird. Scat's poop for sure. Scat. Scat poop. It's a card game. I'm going to type in scat poop. Scat poop. Scat poop. Scat poop dap doop. Is that what it is? I oh, think poop is in, just a sound. It's in reference to wild animal dropping. So yeah. no domestic animals. So like scatter. There's poop scatter. I mean, it's just scat. It's just like, you know. How'd you fucking know that random fact about scat being shit? I don't know, man. I talked to a lot of people on other people's lives, and I feel like that was mentioned. Like, oh, okay. Scat. I was like, like, what, did you play like Red Dead Redemption before this? <laughs> <laughs> fucking like looking through shit? No, but like... For probs. Yeah. No, but I mean, yeah, I'm fat, so like... <laughs> If if I lose my hair, it's gonna make me feel worse. Now, okay. here's what I'll say about the losing hair thing. Right? Okay. If I was losing my hair, I would do everything I can to like save it. Why though? Because I'd rather have my hair. Because I've had my hair the whole the whole time. And also, I think the biggest thing when it comes down to is just you change. Were, you were so because I'd rather just have my hair. Yeah. Have no. I, I you're think so, it, you were so sincere. I feel it felt like I hurt your feelings. I'm I sorry. think it comes from just change. Like if you yeah. have a, a, an afro. And then you shave it, and you just have like a buzz cut. Now that still is going to be like a big thing where you're kind of insecure about it because it's not how you looked for so long. I'm emotional anytime I cut my hair if it's long. That's what I'm saying. Like when you when you go through change like that, and with bald, I don't necessarily think there's like I think there's a negative connotation to it, but not really because yeah. there's bald dudes that like you don't even think about them being bald. Yeah, it's you know? true. It's you like, it only think them. about bald people who are like holding on to their hair. So I wouldn't do that. In my personal opinion, if I had like no, like the George Costanza, I probably would just try it out and be like, let me just go full baldy here. Like you gotta like you gotta know, obviously, that like yeah, your hair course. looks like shit. Well, I think it's like it doesn't look that bad today. So it's like I'll comb it over and like it'll look all right. But on on like I f- see, I feel bad. When for you guys. can like feel the top of your head like skin yeah. and it's like gone. Just try out the full bald. Get those natural oils going. Yeah, because, yo, it'll be weird for, like, three months, and then people will just know that you're bald. And yeah. it wouldn't even be a thing. You know what I'm saying? You no, know it's kind of hot girls with shaved heads. I kind of like that, too. I think that shit is hot, bro. Yeah, it's kind of, it's exotic. Yeah, it's exotic. It makes me think of, like, uh, in the movie 300, where, like, there's that pharaoh, and everyone's, like, getting their 
fucking ass sucked on the on the side. And, like, yeah, he's, like, yeah. Through. And I'm like, oh my god, these bitches are in gold chains. So I don't know if they're slaves, but the chains are really expensive. So is it theirs? Yeah, yeah. It's like high caliber. Like yeah, at least they're treating them all right. Yeah, like if you're if I if I was gonna be like imprisoned to a, a pharaoh, and I Those... had like a 24 karat gold chain, I'd still be upset. But I'd feel better than people who just have the old iron. Yeah. Like, if someone comes in here and snaps a pick, I'm going to be iced out. That's what I'm saying. At least. Yes, exactly. Know? But I couldn't tell if it was like, I thought they were connected to other girls. So yeah. I didn't know if this was like a whatever. But those chicks had shaved heads. And I was like, it's kind of fucking hot. So it reminds me of that shit. Yeah, yeah. Of like I, these fuck dungeons inside pyramids or yeah. something. A buzzed head for me is like, it's kind of hot. Yeah. Because I want to rub the, your head. It's like... I, I'd rather rub your head than have sex with you at that point. I'd just be like, yo, can I rub your head? You'd quick? rather have a cat. So it's kind of like having a cat? No. Or what? I'd rather pet a person. You'd rather pet, her, pet a woman on her head? With this mustache, I shouldn't be saying things like that. <laughs> but no, I think girls with shaved heads are hot. Um, but like, I even think of it like this. Like, like girls, they go bald. Like, they have like thinning hair. Mm -hmm. Like, that shit's so trash, dude. Because like, their hair, like, I feel like... Like, uh, what's the word? The the status quo is for them to have, like, long hair, you know? Yeah. And then it's like, you have to fight that. Like, a man's status quo, like, we're supposed to go bald. I don't know about that. Yeah, I think so. It's like a part of, like, it's a part of, like, oh, you're getting older, like, I'm an old bald dude. You know? <laughs> it's different if girls are, like, losing their hair and shit. It's way different. Yeah. I actually know somebody that has uh, some condition where there's just a straight-up spot. Oh, a female? Yeah. Cool, on the, say her on, name. On her, no, no, no. no. <laughs> on uh, her head. Um, but she was cool about it. Like, she put out this thing on Instagram, and she was like, you know, this is my thing. Yeah. And, like, whatever. But it's like, with with that... See, that's cool. But I, I would have never known that, because I guess it's easier to hide when you have longer hair. Because, again, whatever you said, you could, like, push it back. You yeah, yeah, this, yeah. That, you put it up. Um, so it's it's easier to, to hide, I guess. But I can see how that's very you know tough. It, it, tough. it takes a toll on you yeah i think it's it's a tough thing because it's something you can't really control and that goes for like anything really that you have that people because we were just talking about a little bit before we started this but i'm sure there's something that everyone has even if like you're like yo this person looks perfect but they have something that they're like oh my god fuck this they, they probably wake up and hate every day yeah they're yeah. like oh my god look at this fucking look at this oh, yeah what are you doing? I do this every morning. You just grab it and you kind of shake it? Yeah. Sometimes I like it, but then sometimes I'm like, no, no, <laughs> no, no. Like, bad, bad, bad. You don't really jiggle that much, though. No, nah, because I'm kind of hard, dude, but the older I get, only going to get softer, baby. Yeah. I'm 30, dude. My metabolism is checked out. The bouncy, the bouncy, uh, yeah, you're not really bouncy. Nah. See, I think the bouncy's worse. Yeah. I could also twerk that ass, too. So, like... Well, we saw that on Instagram. So, I could bounce a little bit if I want to. Yeah. If I want to. In the right places. You know, we were... T like you said, we were talking a little before about, like, the James Corden, Bill Maher thing. Mm-hmm. Uh, so, apparently, like, Bill Maher, like, fat shame people. Yeah, he said that we need to bring fat shaming back. Yeah. Or it, it needs to make a comeback. I thought that was funny. I mean, I thought it was funny because it was just ridiculous. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like <laughs> for someone to just be like, uh, "Fat shame." We have to be like, I forgot what the, his quote was, but I'm paraphrasing. But he was just like, you know, people say that fat shaming is bad, and then we've done away with, uh, gone, uh, done away with it. Yeah. Uh, but it needs to make a comeback. I was like, this is fucking insane. Yeah, yeah. But then like James Corden like responded to it and like was yeah. like, you know, like, "Sup, I'm fat." Sup, I'm fat. British. Yeah. Successful. Yeah. Yeah. I love but, James Corden, by the way. Yeah. And, like, you know, like, a part of me felt like there wasn't really kind of a wrong argument on either side. No, I don't either. Because I think that what Bill, what Bill Maher said was wrong. I don't agree with what he uh, yeah. said. Like, fat shaming needs to come back. Like that That's wrong. Yeah. Like, obviously. I get what he's trying to say. I think he was just fitting this character of, like. I'm an asshole. He was he's a fucking asshole. So yeah. he has to play an asshole on TV, so he made it more assholey. But or maybe he believes that and whatever. I don't fucking know Bill Ma Bill Maher and I'm not defending him by any means. I don't give a shit. Uh but in my opinion, uh what I think he was referring to was how now when anyone's overweight, 
like you can't tell someone like oh dude you're getting a little like you know whatever because they're like oh no i'm comfortable with my skin i'm beautiful like everyone's beautiful and like there's tons of different body shapes and like yeah of course like i agree with all of that and i think that everyone should be comfortable in their own body um but at the same time shouldn't ignore the fact that like well it is unhealthy that you're yeah. overweight you yeah know? And, and tons of people are overweight i think by the book i'm overweight too yeah do i think i'm fat no i don't i yeah. think that i could get there like in record time if i really wanted to yeah you could be fat you have fat hips i have yeah i do right yeah you have fat hips i have fat hips <laughs> and i got thick legs kind you of you have thick legs not not fat hips you have wide hips yeah so i can because like really stack yeah. this fucking frame because you, you don't have like love handles that'd be different you have like wide hips like you like yeah you could you could store something in there yeah, yeah. dude i'm telling Listen, you right trust now. me i know yeah i could fit a whole bunch of baggage in here you know and then like also coming from someone who is fat uh, te <laughs> technically, scientifically fat. Um, you called like, yourself fat boy before. That was so funny. <laughs> I mean, I just called. You know what I'm saying? Fat boy is one of the funniest remarks ever. By the way. Yeah, yeah. In my like, I just think it's so What's up, funny. Fat boy. Oh my god, my you brother know? calls me that all the time. Yeah, it's. I, th I think fat <laughs> like, boy is funny. My brother Thomas calls me fat boy. You so. know, and it's like, I understand <laughs> where like James Corden's coming from. Like, there's like fat shaming and shit like this. But that I'm is like, so dumb though. Like fat shaming. Like the actual act of sorry for cutting you off. Yeah, yeah. But like no, the I'm actual sorry. thing of like yeah, shaming. But I, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> the actual part of like shaming, like that's where I'm like, I don't agree with this guy because like I don't because he's like it should make a comeback because and he thinks that if shaming comes back, then that'll have a positive effect. But if you walk through this door every day and I was like, dude, you're so fat, like that wouldn't motivate you to be like, you know what, I'm gonna lose this weight. It would just make you like an angry person. Yeah, you would I'd hate I'd, me. yeah, I'd probably come in here and fucking shoot you one day. That's what I'm saying. Or yeah. and it would it, it would just make you feel bad about yourself. It wouldn't make you feel like I, you want to better yourself. It's just that you would just like start to like eventually hate yourself because you're getting like these bad reactions. Well, like, yeah, I, that is stupid. Yeah, like you know, like listen, I've embraced fat culture in a way. You know what I'm saying? Fat <laughs> culture, yeah. But you know, uh, but you know, you know, and I know. That like my health isn't isn't the best. Right. Like I had to make major adjustments, to, like change my health overall. Mm -hmm. So like, and a lot of it had to do with weight. Now the one thing I'm gonna say is, and I and I hope I don't hurt anybody's feelings like this, but like, I think everybody needs a friend that can say that to them though one time. Yeah. To be like, hey man, like listen, like you're fucking fat, dude. You're you're putting it on. Yeah, and like. And this there's is, a nice way to say that. Yeah, obviously. yeah. I'm just saying it like, it, you know, because I have the fucking vocabulary of a six-year-old. Right. But, you know, <laughs> I think that people need to be a little more realistic with like, you know, you don't have to look like Brad Pitt. Right. But like, yo, if your blood pressure is good and like your fucking blood counts looking okay and, uh, you know, your liver enzymes are good and, you know, your blood sugar is good and your heart ejection rates all right and you have i'm just gonna keep going yeah uh and then you have all you know these things are these, these things are well on you that's fine that's fine so like for me is like me personally like losing weight is gonna lower my numbers like yeah across the board right but like right now just like my numbers are the best they've ever been and it's just been just from making healthy choices like i don't care like dude like i'm about to get married and shit and have a kid like at some point Mom, no, she's not pregnant <laughs> but like at some point it's like yo like i don't want to have a heart attack when i'm fucking 58 years old that's really. what i'm saying and you know what i mean and i think that is like the sort of problem there is when people are like <clears throat> because i'm totally behind being comfortable in your skin you know what i mean but there is a time where you can be comfortable in your skin but also you have to also keep in mind the rest of your life yeah right? because you're only 30 years old thank you uh, Thanks for reminding me. If you were to not address your weight and not make healthy decisions and just tell yourself, and I'm not saying this is all, everyone who says this shit, but like if you're like, nah, I'm, you know, big is beautiful and and like all right, this shit, right, blah right, blah right. blah. If if that was your thought, and again, I because I have to preface this a thousand times so fucking people understand. Yeah, I'm not saying this is everyone, nor am I saying fat shamer. That is, yeah, and that if someone's <laughs> fat, they're they're not beautiful or fucking whatever. That's not what I'm saying. Uh, I, but, lo I love thick mama seeders. <laughs> we've been on record. Yeah, please. Thick mamas all day. I love thick moms. Uh, but <laughs> but if you if you like have that 
kind of belief at 25, let's yeah. say, right? And you're a bigger person. You're like, you know what? I am comfortable with my own skin, and I'm just going to, like, whatever, not even going to worry about, blah, blah, blah. Like, that. that's cool when you're 25 because your body is still, like, young. Yeah, you can lose 30 pounds in, like, four days. But when you get to 35, 40, 45, dude, and, and you dude. haven't changed your, your eating habits and you and you just are been putting on weight— it's like yo, you're. It's gonna take a toll on you, and like your arteries are gonna like. You're being you're being nice about thirty five. Once you start hitting like twenty eight, twenty nine, thirty, you notice your body starts to change in terms of how it breaks down food. Yeah, and like at I, the end of the day, I don't give a fuck what you look like. Like to me, it has nothing to do with, with your body shape. No, it but shouldn't. it just so happens that the science behind it is if you're bigger and you have obvious body fat in your body you are unhealthy and you, at higher you, risk for all these diseases that could kill you yeah i mean listen if I, that was the case where you could just look however you wanted and everyone all your arteries are perfect your fucking blood pressure cholesterol all these things are totally fine i don't dude cool yeah just be, people look be great if in any body type you know they could be super skinny or they could be a thick ass mama like you you know what i'm saying look and at then, me I get I get mad chicks in my mind, <laughs> and then but and then like so it's not about how you physically look no. because people look. It's about good. how you physically feel. It's about being healthy. Yeah, you know, you dude. Know? Like I I overate, so I gave myself a disease. That's crazy. You know what I'm saying? Like that's when you know you have something has to change, and like we do hide behind like yo I'm mad thick, or like I'm a unit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Like, you know, like we do that and it's funny, but like, I think as males though, it's way easier for us to like get, away, around. get away with that with each other. I feel like, All right. you know what I mean? Cause it's, it's, it's because even if it did hurt someone's feelings on like a whole, on a wide spectrum, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like if your friends call you a fat piece of shit enough, you're going to take it home with you. Yeah. That's fucked up. You know what I mean? Like, it should be like, oh, look at this fat fuck. First time it's hilarious, but like a hundred times it's like. Damn, do my friends even like me? Yeah. Like, damn, maybe they like, like myself. Yeah. And then it's like, damn, like, like, are they going to look at me like this? Are they going to look at me like that? And then, like, I feel like on the female side, just speaking from what I think, sorry if this is wrong, it calling a girl fat and calling a guy fat are drastically different. I think in terms of the way it's recepted. <laughs> Received? Received? Is recepted? Reception? <laughs> I don't know, man. I like recepted. Let's roll with it. Let's let's roll with it. So I think the only difference is that in the way that it is. The dude re recepted. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. A dude will just kinda like internalize that and just like not say like even if they were like super offended, like wouldn't say a word. Like but stab it, his pillow at home. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Like plot your murder probably. Yeah. <laughs> but I think um yeah, man. Like I said, like, do I think that everyone needs to be skinny? No, I don't. Do I think that I'm where I want to be as far as weight? No. No. Uh, I don't, I don't think anybody is. That's what I'm saying. Like, there's a very select few people. And now we just have more access to seeing them because of Instagram and social media and shit. Yeah. But that's not what normal people look like. And I am by no means saying that everyone needs to lose weight and needs to. But all I am saying is. We need to start making healthy choices when you get up there in age. And I think when you start looking at like numbers, like, yo, I weigh this much or this much is where you get kind of lost in that. Yeah, yeah. I think you should just worry about getting healthy. Yeah. And then the, the weight stuff will come will come after that. Right. You, you know could, what I mean? You could make healthy choices. You think you're making healthy choices, but you don't really put a lot of research into it and you're eating shit that's harmful. Right. And then, you know, like. If you just look at, I feel like if you just look, like I was 280, I'm 250 something now. But like, if you look at it as I'm just going to get healthy, the all that other shit's going to fall into place. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And I'm still trying to get there. Yeah. And I don't, I don't think that there's anyone who, I mean, I, I could be wrong, but I think that if you lost 30 pounds, you wouldn't be like, oh man, I'd be hyped. I know. Like, I'm just saying. Like, I'm just I'm saying. Just like, like, yeah, I could start in the NFL right now. Probably can't start in the NFL. I, I'll probably make the 53-man roster. I mean, they put you on the practice squad. That's maybe. fine. I, I mean, yeah, it's, let me hold a water bottle, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> Do the first down markers or something. Um, but, yeah, I think that, you know, I, I'm both sides of that. Like, I'm with James Corden, and, like, shaming does absolutely nothing. I'm all about, like, the progression of this idea. I think that all of it is, like, is like cool like the the 
you know, being comfortable in your body and like big is beautiful and shit. Cause absolutely. I mean, there's fucking bigger girls that are hot as shit. Dude. Yeah. And you're like, yes, you're physically appealing. And there's big dudes that are hot too. So <laughs> come on, dog. Come on, son. Um, so <laughs> I'm all for all that. I, but I do think that if it's just that, then, but we also can't ignore, you know, I mean, people have a really bad way of, of having the counter argument of being like, you fucking fat pieces of shit are going to die. Yeah. Yeah. And it's, it's, there has to be a middle ground where it's like, yeah, I'm comfortable in my own skin, but I also am like trying to make healthy choices. And like, just because I'm going to lose some weight doesn't mean that I wasn't comfortable in my skin. Like right. I'm still going to lose it. And I'm still like, I'm comfortable now. Like, like me, like, like for instance, me right now, I mean, it's stupid coming from me because people are looking at me like, yeah, you don't understand. Cause I've never been like super overweight. Joe has body dysmorphia guys. I don't have body dysmorphia, <laughs> but what, what I'm saying is like, I hate me. What I'm saying is like, I'm, I by no means think I'm like fat or that I'm like, whatever. Am I where I want to be? No, I'm not. Yeah. So it's like <laughs> fat boy, <laughs> fat boy. <laughs> so with me, it's like, I'm comfortable in my own skin. Yeah. That doesn't mean that I don't want to lose weight and get into better no, shape. I, no, I feel you. Because then that's the other counter. The counterpart is just like, oh, well, if, if big is beautiful, then why are you losing weight? Because but, I want to be healthy, you dumb but, fucking asshole. But a part of you wants to be fucking like, you know, a little... Get some abs popping. Get those little fucking things pointing Straight down to your cock. Oh my god, those side like trail maps. Yeah, so the, your the V. Penis. You want the V trailing down that cock, and then you have that one power vein that runs up from your pub reach, like kind of up to your belly button. You How know? many like movies have you seen? I've seen a lot. Yeah, clearly. <laughs> no, nah, but like me, <laughs> like I'll I'll probably never have a six pack, but I don't care about that. Yeah, it's not. It's not about that. You know what I'm saying. I That's just want to make sure, like, thing, I just want to make sure my dick works and like my butthole doesn't collapse when I'm like 42. That's all. You know, I just want my dick and my butt, and my heart. That's all, that's all I want. Yeah, front, back, and, and middle. I want my dick, my butt, and my fucking heart. Yeah. Is that that much to ask for? He didn't ask for brain because that was out the window years ago. Let me tell. Let me tell you something. They're gonna take my brain when I'm done. And I'm gonna, I'm actually gonna donate my brain to science. Yeah, and they're gonna take it. And they're gonna take it and be like, this guy played football, drove NASCAR, uh, uh, base, base, uh, base jumped, and they'd be like, no, nah, this dude just like slept a lot. <laughs> they'd be like, this is the worst case of CTA I've ever seen. They're gonna take your brain and they're immediately just gonna throw it in the trash. They're gonna be like, this one is, oof. Like, oof. Yeah, this is a rotten one. Yeah. You ever get like a bag of apples and there's that one that has like a brown, like it looks like it shit its pants. Yeah. Like, well, I'm throwing this one out. <laughs> That's gonna be... Let's get like, to the ads. <laughs> like, like an apple shit its pants. Yeah. But no, nah, but uh, yeah, yeah, no, we'll get to the ads. But like shame culture, it's like. Uh, I'm not for shaming. I'm not for shaming. I'm all you about. Know, I'm, I'm, I'm I'm a constructive criticism. Yes, because I'm I'm open to criticism. I'm 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 open to hearing people like telling me when I'm wrong. Yeah, and like having a reason for that, but in a way that's not combative. So it's it's helpful. But me just telling you you're fat is me not offering anything. But if but if <laughs> I'm someone who's just like, yo, you're, you know, we should. I'll help you out. Yeah, like I'll help you out. Like we'll, yeah. we'll do something. Like we'll do it together, even. Or right. like we'll try to. You know what I mean? Like yeah. that's that's more helpful than just being like, bro, you're getting disgusting. But it, and it's also like somebody knows like your secret, but it's not a secret. It's right. like because inside you're like you're telling yourself that, and then like being able to share it with somebody, yeah, helps a lot. Knowing that they're not gonna come back like you fucking fat piece of shit. Yeah, stuff. Yeah, so I, it's it's about just like having the conversation and just being like because being delusional on either ends is not like when there's people who are just like just don't be fat it's like yeah. it's not that easy like, i don't understand like how hard it is like just don't eat that fucking pop tart <laughs> yeah just don't have 10 slices of pizza and you'll be fine yeah it's i'm like, like dude, dude you know how hard that is for me <laughs> not only that but it's like if i just stop eating pizza like there's a so many other bad habits that i probably have i mean yeah. everyone has bad eating habits john goggins would fucking obliterate us right now oh my god john goggins would just be like you're infecting the youth i, I, I like, just I, ran 400 miles this morning i feel like he's gonna drop to the fucking ceiling if we keep talking yeah he'd probably climb the side of the building and be like i fucking trained get out here you fat piece of shit <laughs> no you probably call me obese yeah guy's like negative 2.5 percent probably yeah. fat he's a freak it's just like I just know how hot I am. Like <laughs> I'm okay. I just know how fucking hot I am. Like I don't care what anybody says. 
It's just, it's just my, my swag is stupid. You know what's crazy? When you really think about, it, and then we'll get to this. When you were saying that, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're like, I know how hot I am. Technically, everyone is really hot when you think about it. All right, you're gonna have to break this down for because, me. Because, because. I like where you're going, but I want to see how this ends. Because, no matter what, mm-hmm. you are someone's like, dude. This oh, is my oh, come hot. on! Don't do that to me. I'm a type now. Everybody, you idiot. All right, me, whatever. It's like, oh, this is this is my type. like. You're the hot. You're really fucking hot to somebody. Yeah, that's right. So I'm saying, so everyone technically uh, is really uh, hot. Oh, uh, uh, I thought you were like trying to spin it like, like. Oh no, that's not what I was saying. Like I'm a fat person's type. No, yeah. I was just like, all right, I'll fuck a fat bitch. I'm saying everybody. Like if you see somebody and you're like, eh, I don't really find them attractive. It's like that's cool because someone is like, fuck, dude, that person's hot as shit. So technically, we're all fucking hot as fuck. When you look at the world that way, and you know we're all just like hot pieces of ass walking around, it's a lot better. Yeah. You don't got to be hot for me, but you're hot for someone on this earth. That's all. That's all I care is about. That's what I'm saying, man. Motherfuckers is hot. We are all obsessed with like think wanting everyone to think we're hot. For what? I don't know. That's weird. It is weird. I don't want to be hot to it's everyone. It's like I want everyone to think I'm hot. Nah. I feel like that would be weird. Just being like, yo, everyone thinks you're hot. I'd be like, I, I, that'd be annoying. It I makes feel me like. feel better when people are like, I don't see it. You ever go, in, <laughs> you know what I love doing? I love when I go to bars, finding like the objectively hottest girl in there. And just watching dudes, right? Just approach, but and just yeah, thinking about how awful her night is right now. Yeah. And now imagine, like, we all want to be the hottest person in the room. Imagine being you have to be that person the whole time. I mean, it's tough. It's tough for you, isn't it? Yeah, it's rough. Let I mean, know. but like you know, I've gotten pretty good at it. Yeah, you're all right. Fighting them off. All right. <laughs> it's like an episode of The Walking Dead. Has to keep them off me. <laughs> Climbing over fences yeah, and shit. But, you know. All right. Let's get to uh, the sponsors we have today. First one we have is Stamps.com. Shout out to Stamps.com, man. Brings all the amazing services of the U.S. Postal Office uh, right to your computer. Um, You can use your computer to print any U.S. postage 24-7. So you don't got to like, you know, 3 a.m. You're trying to send out some mail. Get on your computer. You got Stamps.com. Any letter, any package, any class of mail, anywhere you want to send it. Once your mail is ready, just hand it to your mail carrier. Drop it in the mailbox. It's that simple. And with stamps.com, you get five cents off every first class stamp and up to 40% off priority mail. This is that's a serious savings right there, dog. That's what we call it in the industry. Uh, it's a no brainer. It saves you time and money. Uh, right now, our listeners can get a special offer that includes a four week trial plus free postage and a digital scale without any long term commitment. Just go to stamps.com, click on the microphone at the top of the homepage, and type in basement. That's stamps.com. Click on that microphone at the top of the homepage and type in basement. Uh, if you if you shipping, you better be stampsing. Stamps dot com. Next, we got Postmates. Uh, you know, what I'm saying your personal food delivery, grocery delivery, whatever you want delivery. Uh, I'm all over stamps dot. Oh, I'm, I'm all over stamps dot com. That's true. But Postmates, I am all over Postmates as well. I postmated a pop tart last night. One pop tart. Nope. A whole box of them. Wait, got- wait. Which flavor though? S'mores, it, obviously. No, they were out. Of, they were out of s'mores, and they were out of strawberry. I had to get cherry. I don't like cherry. I don't like cherry. The cinnamon either. ones are fire. Yeah, the cinnamon ones are good. And then I got a rice krispie treat, but one of the long ones. And then I got Cheetos. Damn, snack up! Don't shame me, bro. It was a Sunday. It was. <laughs> it was there was football on. What can you do? Yeah. Don't shame me. Um, but yeah, they're the largest on-demand network in the U.S. and they offer delivery from all restaurants, grocery, and convenience stores, and traditional uh, retailers. So whatever you need, any literally anything, you can have someone go get it. You don't have to know where the store is. God, I love Postmates. Anything, <laughs> and you can track to see when the person's coming to you. You get like an arrival time. It's 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 great. So if you need anything and you need it to be delivered, hit up Postmates. Uh, and for a limited time, Postmates is giving our listeners one hundred dollars of free delivery credit for your first seven days. Uh, to start your free deliveries, download the app and use the code basement that's code basement for one hundred dollars of free delivery credit for your first seven days yeah and the, trust me the hundred dollars uh uh credit towards delivery trust me it's a life save because some pl- places are fucking extremely expensive yeah when it comes to that so 
Yeah, so, uh, yeah, anything you need, anytime you need it, Post made it, all right? Get it. And then you get to see him, like, ride to your house on, like, a cute bicycle if you're in the city or a car. <laughs> I love it. Um, all right, next up we have my bookie, which, I mean, you know, we're, we've been doing it, like, every week now. My bookie, man, we got we got bets. We got money to make, okay? There's, 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 there's... Well, Talk about high blood pressure. Yeah. Well, even if you have like five dollars on a game, get your blood going. And this was week two of the NFL season, right? Um, you know, it's Monday when this comes out, so there'll be a Monday night football game, right? So you can go and get after it. You can go to mybookie.ag, and when you put in the code, uh, the code basement, uh, they will double your first deposit. Wait, okay? so what's that mean? If I give you five hundred dollars, what's bookie my bookie going to do for They're me? They're going to put five hundred dollars in there as well, Damn. so you'll have a thousand dollars total to gamble. You know, if you want to do it all on Monday, I mean, I'm not that much of a high roller. I know Danny is, uh, but <laughs> if you guys want to do that, but they have, uh, you know, a, a big book you could bet props or like the spread or whatever any sports really go on there you can find anything and prop bets are fun for people that like don't bet that much right so like especially like around like super bowl time and stuff like that it's like what right. color is the gatorade gonna be right uh toy uh toying costs did i say that right no coin toss coin toss yeah heads or tails you put heads some money on that i like that it's cute yeah so uh yeah go check it out mybookie.ag today put in the promo code basement to activate that uh Double your first deposit offer. Um, go in some freaking months. Go in some freaking months. Um, and then, lastly, we have Buffy. <sighs> Buffy makes betting that is earth friendly and cruelty free. Uh, the breeze it regulates re- regulates Re- regulate regulate it, regulate it regulates temperature so no more night sweats which i'm a big night sweater. You dude. a sweaty boy. I don't know why. I, I oh yesterday I fell asleep at my mom's house, sweat all over the couch. It was hot though. I didn't yeah. night sweat for no reason. I, I've I did sweat on your mom's couch one night with when the AC was on. It's just that leather. It traps it traps that back heat. Oh, you sick freak. Hey, I washed it. <laughs> uh, they have a one hundred percent plant based design. It's breathable and it keeps you comfortable at, uh, at a comfortable temperature, which is great because that helps you sleep through the night. I got that buff on my bed. Yeah, I know you got that buff. That I buff. Know. That buff uh, takes care of business. It's made of eucalyptus fabric inside and out. <laughs> Man, if you asked me what that was, I wouldn't know. And I know you, it keeps me cool. You could love it. Yeah. It's softer than cotton and naturally soothes skin. Earth-friendly, like I said, cruelty-free. Okay, we're saving the environment while having a good night's sleep. We ain't hurt nobody. We ain't hurt nobody. Uh, they got a free trial. You can try our comforter in your own bed for free. If you don't love it, return it at no cost. Bro, get a free blanket for a couple days. No try cost. it out. There's no cost. And uh, if you love it. Keep it. There you go. And right now, you want to get a Buffy blanket? I'm telling you, if you're in the market for a new blanket, I'm not just saying this. I got the blanket. It's on the bed. It's comfy. It's breathable. My temperature is solid. I love this blanket too, yeah. Uh, For $20 off your Buffy comforter, visit Buffy.co and enter the code BASEMENT. Okay? Again, that's $20 off your comforter. Uh, visit Buffy.co and enter the code a basement. Yeah, try that free trial. Put a duvet on there. Ooh. You know what I'm saying? Now get you get, after you're it. You're getting sexy now. Yeah, man. You're getting a little too crazy. Yo, if you're a grown man and don't have a duvet cover, worried about you, dog. Yeah, you need to get something on that. Get a duvet cover. Get something on your Buffy. I don't know how to spell duvet. It's D-O-U-V-I-E-R. I'm pretty sure it's D-U-V-E-T. Damn, Like dove it. I spell duvet like Cartier. Wait, well, how did you spell it? D O U V I E R. <laughs> no, that's Cartier not. Duvet. I'm pretty sure it's D U V E T. Yeah, I'm right. You know why I'm right? Because I just had to get a new duvet. Duvet. Uh, mm, not mm, your best. Not, not my your, not best. Your best. I um, mean, listen, you know what I mean? Like, sometimes you're I'm not willing always to your try, best. But I'm willing to try. I'm willing to put myself out there. Try some material. You know what I'm saying? New material. Yeah. yeah you got to work yeah. it out with the crowd. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's crowd work. That's really mostly what it is. I understand. You know? Uh, listen, speaking of duvets and blankets, yeah, I was going to say, speaking of duvets and blankets, I texted Danny a couple of days ago and I was like, I just had the funniest fucking dream ever and you're not going to believe it. Uh, and I'm going to tell it in the basement yard. So I'm going to do that now. Cause usually like I woke up like fast and immediately knew how funny that was. And I started writing it down Yeah. and this is what I wrote. And unfortunately it were wasn't, you, were you like half asleep when you were writing? I it? wasn't, I was up for the day, which this would have been a lot funnier if I was half asleep. Because the notes would be funny. Uh, 
Okay, good. Yeah, so I, I have it. And it's like whatever. I'm not yeah. gonna, I'm not gonna make up anything I didn't write. All right. Um. So anyway, <laughs> because I had that Buffy, I had a good night's sleep. So the boy was dreaming. <laughs> You know, <laughs> because when I when I have a good night's sleep, I got some crazy shit that happens to me. But this one in particular. So um, my landlord downstairs, uh, my landlord came into my apartment with a, with a big box. All right. OK. And I don't know how he got into my apartment, but we were in here. We were right here. And uh I just know your reaction to when I say this. Okay, so he comes in. He's got a big box. It's like all taped up. He's like, "Oh, Joe, wait till you see this thing." Like, blah blah blah. Right? So he's all excited about yeah, it. I'm yeah. like, you know, I'm I'm into it. So I'm like, yeah. Let's Who all, doesn't love opening let's a box? Pop open this box. What's in it? Like an animal or some shit? You know? Um. So he opens a box. He opens the box, and um, all this shit is in here. By the way, like that's just a wall. Um, and it's a laundry basket, but it's plated in gold. And it has like this blue diamond looking thing like in the bottom. But okay. it's still one of those laundry baskets that's like wavy. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Like it's like plastic, but you can like move it around. You can like, you can like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Form it. Yeah, you can you know form I mean? it you to fit everywhere. You can form that shit. Yes, you know yes, what I'm saying? Yes. Uh, so. And gold. It was plated gold, right? So he's like, look at that. <laughs> he's all excited about this thing. <laughs> and I'm like, oh man, is that gold? And he's like, yeah. <laughs> So then, and uh, yo, guys, if you knew my uh, landlord, that's exactly how you yeah. say it. Oh, John, oh, it's, yeah, it's nice. So then here's where it takes a turn. All right. Laundry basket, already weird. But then he takes a different laundry basket, not plated in gold, just your run of the mill. Right. Bed, bath, and beyond. Fucking plastic. Plastic. Blue garbage. Yeah, your training bra laundry basket. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. He puts it on his head. <laughs> right? So he takes this thing. Okay. Like, you know how you would carry it like this? You put the laundry in it. Yeah, so he yeah. takes it and he puts it on his head. Okay. He's got, he's got a helmet now. Now he's got a helmet, but it has like the holes in it so I could still see the man. He's like a knight. Basically. Yeah, yeah. Basically, essentially, right? Because you know how those laundry bags have, they got holes yeah, in it. Yeah, 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 of course. So it's, it's the same exact one as the other one, except this one's plated in gold. Okay. So he puts the other one on his head. Okay. And I could see his arm. And then he leans against the wall. <laughs> right? <laughs> this gets so crazy, right? Okay. So then he leans against the wall. <clears throat> and then. <laughs> I'm sorry. I know Jill's landlord, so I'm picturing him doing this right now. <laughs> so then. Like this? No, 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 no. I don't know why I almost. <laughs> No, no, no. So he puts it on his head. Okay. And then he just leans against the wall like this. So, like, it's like there. And then he just goes. <laughs> he goes. Hit me with a basket. <laughs> so he wanted me to pick up the, the gold. Oh, the heavy one. And hit him with this basket <laughs> while he wore the other basket. Oh, my God. Did you do it? I hit him three times. <laughs> I hit this man like bang, bang, bang. <laughs> And that was the whole dream. There was no follow up. He didn't say anything. It was just over. What the fuck manifested that? I don't know. <laughs> what I wrote down verbatim was You got to tell him that. No, no, no. I can't. He takes a different laundry basket and puts it on his head and leans against the wall and then asks me to hit him <laughs> with the gold plated laundry basket while he's wearing <laughs> another laundry basket on his head. And then it's just. <laughs> <laughs> There's I hit return uh, and then I wrote so I did dot dot three times. <laughs> Damn. And then you just woke up after you struck him three times? Yeah, I, I hit this man with a gold plated basket while he was wearing a basket and then I just woke up, man. And it was fucking strange. And I know there's people out there that are trying to decipher this, but all I gotta <laughs> say is G L to that. Good luck. I think like I feel like that could happen though in real <laughs> life. Like not with hit him, me. not with him specifically, but it's like, yo, I got this new thing. Hit me with it. You know? What the fuck are you talking like about? Like if I like if I got something cool in the mail. You want me to hit you with your sneakers? Like put like a helmet on and be like, hit me with hit me with it. Oh, if you got a helmet, that would yeah, make yeah, sense. Yeah. Like when he, you get a football helmet and you start slapping your head. I think he he kinda had a helmet on. I mean he didn't though. He had a laundry basket on his head. Joe, come here. Let me talk, let me show you something. Joe, come here. Oh, you gotta see this thing. <laughs> hit me with it. <laughs> 
Now I can't see him anymore. Now every time I see him, I'm gonna picture a fucking God forbid, laundry basket on his head. God forbid that guy like ever like, walking around with a laundry basket. If he ever, yeah, <laughs> if he like for a second like lifts a laundry basket over his head in the hallway, I'm gonna just lose my mind. Oh, I'm just gonna start hitting him with one. <laughs> a gold, and I love how it had a one blue diamond in the bottom, like yeah, like it was, the Titanic. It was sort of Egyptian. Th- it was sort of Egyptian looking. That's fire though. Yeah, it was. I cool. kind of want one now. I kind of want one too. Yeah. But yeah, I beat the shit out of him with this thing, man. I swung and I didn't I didn't really hold back either. I was swinging for the fences, man. I was like Barry Bonds with his little ass was he, bat. Was he smiling at all? Or was he like deadpan just like hit me with it? Uh he didn't say it excited. I don't know what he was what he looked like he while was, I was he, doing he, it. Because it was sort of like an outer body. Like I was watching myself in yeah. this man. And he was hitting in the basket anyway. It's hard yeah. to tell. Yeah, I was hitting him in the basket. Yeah, yeah. So I wasn't hitting him in the stomach. Like I was hitting the basket. Yeah. You know, I knew he wanted basket on basket kind of violence there. Yeah. So I gave it to him. Uh but you know, I just it was crazy, man. If a dude sucks your penis in a dream, are you gay? Uh, n- I don't. What? Like, wait. You. What? What man? I'm just saying, like, if any man like sucks your pang, like in the middle, in the middle of a dream, is it me? Like, are you gonna tell someone about it? I mean, I probably yeah, probably like. Yeah, I probably wake up and be like, "Yo, I'm not telling you. anybody I got sucked." That's how homophobic people are. It's like, "Yo, I'm not even telling anybody a guy sucked me in a dream." Have you had a dream where a man sucked? Probably. I, I don't know if I think exact- you remember that. Um. No, but I've had gay dreams. What? Like what? Like, like I've made out with dudes. Really? Yeah. I've Have you dream- actually? Yeah, dude. I'm, I you know that thing about it. I maybe have done that. I, every dude has had a has had gay dreams, dude. I actually don't know. If I've, I've never got that. sucked by a dude, but I've made out with dudes. I've never really had like a like a suck dream, like getting sucked by like a male or female or just yeah, a male, just like any sort of suck. Dream. Yeah, no, I've never got sucked by a dude. I did have a dream once where I got sucked and my dick turned into a microphone and Method Man was rapping into it after. <laughs> You had a dream that you were getting sucked upon. Yeah, by a female. And then my penis turned into a microphone and Method Man was rapping. And then all of a sudden I was sitting in the crowd watching Method Man rap. With your it dick? was like one of those pictures. It's like, here's this. Now zoom out. And here's what's really and, going and, on. And now zoom out again. Wait, so the microphone was in her mouth? No, no it, my, it was my penis. No, I, I'm aware. So my penis was my penis. And then... I looked around and then I looked down and it was a microphone and Method Man was rapping. Oh, so the girl disappeared. She disappeared. With your dick. With my cock. So she ran away with this dick. And just flew off. And then I was immediately sitting in a chair like how I'm sitting now. Method Man's just like, yo. Like rapping. I'm like, yo, is this fire? But that's my dick, dude. (laughs) M-E-T-H-O-D, man. Yo, this mic smells like a dick. I'm like, yeah. But no, yeah. I've had dreams I made out with dudes. Who cares? No, I mean, I mean, in short, I don't think that makes you gay. Uh, but I, I uh, can't like say often. I have a whole lot of experience in, with that, to be honest. You've never had a dream with a dude? No. Damn, dude. You banged guys? I've never banged a butt. I, yo, my sex dreams are awful. Like, I never fucking come, and, like, my dick's always a fucking limp nude. Like, I, I never thrash. Yeah. In dreams. Like, trying to get my penis in is like trying to, like... Throw a punch. Yeah. You can't punch. No, you can't punch. Like, I wish I had one dream where I'm, like, absolutely pounding. <laughs> I'm just going to say to all the men out there who've had dreams about making out with a dude, I'm with you on that, all right? <laughs> I've been there. Yeah? I, yeah. I've had multiple dude make-out dreams. Dude, I just, like, touched my face, and now I smell like a cinnamon bun. <laughs> what the fuck is Did going on? Did you eat on? something cinnamon? No. Uh, maybe. I showered and shit? Maybe touch a candle? I mean, I don't know. I'm not going to look me in the eyes right now and tell me you never kissed a man in a dream. I don't think I have, to be honest with you. I'm trying to remember. I'm trying to unlock some some stories here for you. I really want to be. You don't forget those dreams. That's true. I kind of wish I got sucked in a dream, though. By a dude? Yeah, why not? Who cares? It's a dream, dude. Would you 
I don't. Would I it, feel gay after it? No, 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 no. no, no. I'm not saying that. I'm saying, would you actually be able to feel what it's like? Of course you would. Dream, you, you, I don't you, really feel. People stuff say in my dreams, they feel them though, but I don't really feel anything in my dreams. Like even when I'm like, when you know, you have that that thing where you like fall and you wake up real quick, or like when. You, oh, you feel that for sure. I don't. I just I feel my body jolting in the morning, but I don't feel anything within the dream. Like if I fall down, like I don't really feel anything. You or ever, if I get punched, I don't feel that. I know, but you ever have those dreams you wake up from? And you're like. You're like, what the fuck was that? Like, you're mad scared, like frantic. I was actually, <laughs> I think I woke myself up laughing not too long ago. See, that's that's weirder than getting your dick sucked <laughs> by a dude. I was just like looking around like, yo, what the fuck was so funny? That's a strange dream. Yeah. That's weird. a strange one. But like, uh, you ever try to text somebody while like sleeping still? Oh, yeah. And it's like, fla black a biff, biff, see you, blah, fluff. Yeah, I've done that. You know what I've done too? I've been I've been texting, but my phone's plugged in, and I'll fall asleep with it in my hand, and then it'll fall out of my hand and hit the floor and scare the shit out of yeah, me. Yeah, that would scare me too. Literally, the shit I've shit my bed. Really? No, no. <laughs> has Char- to- no what's up? Has Charlie shit in my bed? Yeah. No. No. I was about Even to say. as a puppy, I mean, as a puppy, you can't get up there. But yeah, Eli's never shit our bed. He peed our bed once. Yeah, I think my dog's pissed on my bed mad times. Yeah. Out yeah. of like excitement. I'm like, oh, you want to go for a walk? And he's like, you're in. I'm like, well, yeah. we don't need to go now. Yeah. Um. But anyway, so I, I, you know, staying on the topic of dreams, found this article, the uh, nine common dreams and what they're supposed to mean. What they supposedly, supposedly, what am I saying? Supposedly mean. Supposedly, I would accept as a judge. Do you believe in like they mean shit? Are you um, just having dreams? I think you're just having dreams. I also think you're just having dreams. Like I think they're related to things that you're probably thinking about that are on your mind subconsciously throughout oh, so the day. Oh, so I think about making out with dudes? No. I think if I joke about ma- making out with dudes... You're thinking about making out with dudes. Then. So you're thinking about it. Right. It could, making out with dudes could be on your... Gay shit could be on your mind. Yo, gay shit stays on my mind, dog. I know. I mean, We make gay jokes all the time around here. There's a lot of gay comedy here. Like here. I've sucked your dick in, in joke form like maybe 50 times. Or I've like offered to do it for like the dumbest things. Like, yo, if you go down and get the food right now, I'll suck your dick. Yeah. No one's ever paid up, but <sighs> despite what people think, I think people think we're dating. It's fine. They think I'm Alana. <laughs> <laughs> getting, yo, I'm getting engaged yo, soon. Yeah, this like girl that I'm with. <laughs> it's like always doing like podcasts with me. Uh <laughs> Uh, so nine common dreams and what they supposedly mean. I'm going to guess what they mean. I don't know. Okay, cool. <laughs> okay. Uh, I don't know if these are in order, but anyway, here we go. First one, dreams about falling. Uh, um, you're not fulfilled in your personal life, so you feel like you don't have a grasp on reality, so you're falling, and you're like, oh, my God. As a human, even though I'm not physically falling, I'm falling down this shaft of darkness i I think i'm right i couldn't even follow that yeah you could yeah well you're not you're not deep that's why uh dreams about falling from great heights are very common while there is a popular myth that if you hit the ground in your dream you will die in real life it is simply not true that's another thing that people said like yo you know whoever dies in your dreams they die in real life i'm like i really don't have that power i've died in mad dreams yeah i feel like i've gotten shot in dreams before um According to many popular dream interpretations, falling dreams are a sign that something in your life isn't going well. It might suggest that you need to rethink a choice or consider a new direction in some area in your life. Guess who's right? Danny with the shaft. It is a symbol of fear in real life, perhaps of failing at work or in your love life. Uh, Falling often expresses a need to let yourself go more and enjoy life more. I would say I was right. You, I say we were right. You, I say you had an unorthodox way of explaining. Of course, but that's who I am. I am unorthodoxed. You've just been making up words this whole time. Uh, <laughs> second, dreams about being naked in public. Uh, you're afraid. You have like social um, incongruities. <laughs> First of all, I've never had this dream ever. I've I've had this dream, but not to this effect where I'm like, oh, so like I was walking by, oh, but I've had dreams where I've just been, (laughs) (laughs) but I've had dreams where I've just been naked, but like in public. Yeah. I haven't. Yeah. I've never had that. Like I've had dreams. I'm in like a Dwayne Reed or like a Walgreens or something naked. And you just, you're just, yeah. And like nobody really gave me a hard time. They were just like, yeah, naked guy. Yeah. Naked guy. 
But uh, I would well, say that, it is New York. So <laughs> yeah, yeah. So like, I would say it would have to do with like you're afraid of like a presentation or like having so like uh in social environments or having second thoughts. Okay. Socially awkward. Uh, Penny Pierce, author, author, author of uh, Dream Dictionary for Dummies. Suggests, oh, Penny Pierce, yes, of course. Of course, Penny Pierce. Uh, suggests that dreaming of public nudity might indicate that you feel a phony. Oh, you feel like a phony or that you are afraid of revealing your imperfections and shortcomings. I was wrong. Yeah, that one's more of like you're insecure, I guess. Yeah. Interesting. Uh, dreams about being chased. I've had bad dreams like this. Yeah. I think dogs... Dr- Michael De- like, Myers, like demon dogs, though. yeah, like dogs that like you could see their ribs because it's open, but they're alive. I had a dream once that Michael Myers caught me once, and then he f- grabbed my leg, he flipped me on my back, and stabbed me in my chest, like in my sternum, and went like this, <laughs> and opened my shit up. I lived. Oh uh, yeah, I could see that. Yeah, but that was the scariest chase dream I ever had. Also, can't climb stairs. You ever try to run up stairs in a dream? I don't know. It's impossible. Running is hard. I feel like, why can't I go? Yeah, it's the worst. And trying to run up stairs, I'm like a, like a stupid puppy. <laughs> I can't get up any fucking stairs. Yeah, but he ripped my whole shit out. And then, he had, and then I sucked his dick. That part didn't happen. Yeah, I was gonna the say stabbing that. part didn't happen. The dick sucking did. Oh, okay. Yeah. You sucked Michael Myers. Uh, Tony Crisp. What are these fucking names? I don't know. These all sound like Pokemon trainers. It sounds like some dude I used to buy fucking Coke from. Co- Tony Crisp. <laughs> Yo, Tony Crisp is coming. What do you got for me, baby? Uh, but yeah, he uh, suggests that being chased in a dream might indicate a desire to escape from your own fears or desires. Or I'm just scared of these dogs. Yo, but maybe if I'm kissing dudes... And I'm running away in the dream. Maybe I'm running away because maybe I really want to kiss dudes. That could be it, man. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> my my sexuality uh, crossroads bores you? <laughs> I guess so, man. Jesus. Actually, I think I'm starting to get tired. I might have to have a dream soon. Mm. Uh, next, losing teeth. This one I hate. <laughs> you're thinking about death. Or it's like you're losing power. That's like everyone's answer. Like every girl who like tries to... Interpret your dreams like, oh, that means you're losing power. I was like, what power do I have? Does it look like I'm losing power? Yeah, what does that mean? I'm losing power. Like, like I'm a pharaoh. What power? I'm just a guy just walking around. You know what I'm saying? Like, what power? You do look a little less on power these days. What? You look a little less, a little less powerful. I'm not as powerful. Yeah. I'm getting a haircut on Wednesday. You want to see power? There we go. Now, now there's some power coming back. (laughs) Um. Okay, Penny Pierce, she's back at it. Suggest dreaming about. Wait, you didn't say what that teeth thing. I'm means. doing it, Penny Pierce. Oh, I'm sorry, I thought it was Tony Crisp. No, Tony Crisp was the last one. Oh, Tony. Tony Crisp, the desire to chev, whatever the fuck it was. I'll leave thirty dollars for you in the mailbox. Yeah. Uh, Penny Pierce, she suggests. She said there's multiple meetings. There could be. Um, it might mean that you are worried about your attractiveness or appearance. It might also indicate that you are concerned about your ability to communicate or concerned that you might have said something embarrassing. My teeth are falling out tonight. Why? Because of my dreams that I've talked about. Yeah? You're embarrassed? No, dude. I'll suck somebody in my dream tonight. I don't give a fuck to completion. I thought you were the one getting sucked. I don't care. Things. I'll suck somebody in my dream. I don't give a fuck, man. I'm mad open with my dream sexuality. <laughs> I'm fucking bi curious in my dreams. <laughs> I'll suck. I'll fuck. I'll get <laughs> fucked. I don't care, bro. It's a fucking dream, dude. Like you gonna have to crush this dream, boy, pussy. Dude, you gonna have to crush this thick daddy in there for me uh, to even remember you. Yeah, you're gonna. I'm to, gonna. I'm gonna forget. They say you for, you forget most, most of your, of your dreams, dreams like ten minutes after you have them. Yeah, if you remember so a gay dream. That guy gave it to That's you. That's what I'm saying. If I remember, you fuck me right. Yeah, I might be just getting gay fucked, like, like, That's like what I'm crazy. Saying. Yo, you've probably been gay fucked mad times. But, but it, they gave me trash dick, so yeah. I don't even remember. I'll tell you about my guys. Yeah, let me know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll transfer. Yeah, try to, try yeah, to, can I ask just rub our heads together. Yeah, yeah. We'll fucking headbutt each other and pass out together. <laughs> this is the most ridiculous guy. Can I ask you this? Yeah. Would you ever, uh, have you seen, uh, Eternal Sunshine and Spotless Mind? Uh, yeah. 
with uh, I I don't remember it at all. I saw it like years ago. Okay, so it's like uh, it's Jim Carrey and Kate Winslet. It's a very good movie. I recommend you watch it again. Yeah. Um, it's about a guy and a couple, uh, a guy and his girlfriend. Um, Kate Winslet has her memory deleted first of him. Okay. They have this technology where you could get rid of memories, and then Jim Carrey's story of him deleting her from her memories. Uh, from his memories is the plot of the movie. That's what you say. Um, and he has to relive all the dreams and all like all the good times that they had together. Would you ever erase anything from your mind if you could? I don't think so. Like if you had the technology to be like, yo, I, I like, I want to like get rid of this. And I'm not saying like something like you know horribly traumatic because obviously you would want that. That you wouldn't want to have that, but. I'm just saying, like, stuff like you don't want to think about. I guess there would be very mundane things. Yeah. Like, I I, I couldn't give you an example. But I guess honest. it would have to be traumatic for you, like, actually, like, well, that, really, well, I, really want it to be gone. If you want me to get all, like, super serious right now, like, I don't think getting rid of a traumatic memory does you any good. I think that traumatic memories, some of them make you a better person. Yeah. And they, like, help you in a way. You know, it's still traumatic and you bring it with you everywhere, but it's like, it does make you either a stronger person yeah. or like whatever. It helps you to like get to a certain point in your life. But I think that like for me, it would just be like mundane shit. Cause I would never want to forget something like important. Even if it's the person I hate the most, they teach you stuff. Right. About like someone who's like betrayed you or like whatever they teach Damn, you about. Damn, I said betrayed. Yeah. Like it was a fun of Benedict Arnold. I'm talking about. Fucking Game of Thrones up here uh, on the show. But I think. It I would, would get rid of mundane, mundane shit. shit too. Like it would just be like, oh man, I just, I don't know. Yeah. Like, like, like you get like a $150 ticket and you pay it and you're like, let me just forget about this. Like I would want to think about like dumb shit I've done though. Like breaking windows as a kid or something. Like sometimes I think about moments like that and I'm like. Yeah, but see, but that's what the good it does. Stupid fucking asshole. But that's the good it does, because if you never did those things, you would probably think it was a good idea right now. Imagine if you just saw me outside just throwing rocks at windows. 30-year-old <laughs> I mean, man. Change my locks, that's yeah, for sure. Yeah. As a 30-year-old man, <laughs> toss some rocks. Um, but yeah, the losing teeth thing, I actually have that, but I don't. they don't fall out. I like They burst out of my mouth because I'm smiling so hard. And that may be because I sometimes I grind my teeth in my sleep. Jesus Christ. Who are you, the fucking joker? Like, I'm like this, and then, like, some from break. Nah, mine fall out. Yeah, it's weird. I'm insecure Yo, about my you, teeth, when though. When you wake up from that dream and notice your teeth are there, and you're like, oh, thank God. Yeah, all the time. I'm about to just go brush every two yeah. for four minutes. But it says, like, you're worried about your attractiveness or appearance. I, that, I'm that i insecure about my teeth, so that could be why I have that dream, too. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, could be. Slip. That one that one works for me. Um, dreams about dying. Dreams about dying is you're thinking about dying or you're thinking about losing someone. Uh, popular dream interpretation suggests that such dreams reflect anxiety about change or fear of the unknown. That's literally like my whole life. Yeah. I never really have these dreams, though. <laughs> I've had dreams where I die. I had dreams where I've been on my fucking deathbed before. Yeah, I've had that too. You've had deathbed dreams? I think so. And like people have like come to be like, oh, daddy. Or like, I'm they bring the godfather. Like, they bring like frankincense and myrrh. Like put their hand like on. Yeah, you always touch a sick person's face like with the back of your hand a yeah, little cause, bit. Because it's, it's kind of gross and you're like, I don't want yeah. this. It's like, oh, <laughs> my child. Fuck you. They give you this fucking side swipe of your face. I will say, right? Because in like romantic situations too, there's this. What? This is not comforting yeah but it's sexy though it's not yo if a dude in my dream whoever fucks me tonight rubs my rubs his hand on my face like this i'm nothing dude i don't i don't believe in that this is stupid how do you rub face i i just i go i get right here i i, I hold on to your fucking the back of your yeah. skull you know what i'm saying so it's like you don't know if i'm about to choke the life out of you or like put you to bed sometimes i kiss alana while she's sleeping like on her forehead. Oh, that's yeah. You know what I'm saying? Can't be mouth kissing. This no, no, no. Is that, is that weird to do that? No, not on the forehead. That's cute. Is it? Yeah, but I mean, you can't be kissing like the slumbered on the mouth. That's a little crazy. I'm going to give her one of these. Like they're just like out. She's like, and you're just, and I'm just kissing like, her open mouth. <laughs> no. Yeah, it's strange, man. 
I just feel like people are so vulnerable in their sleep, so like smooching is kind of kind of tough. Tough and like a cool no, not not in like a cool New York way. Like oh, yo, yeah. shit is tough. Yo, that dude. shit is tough. Son. No, no, no. Yo, kissing bitches when they're asleep. Yo, that shit is tough. That dude. shit is tough, dog. Yeah, that shit is tough. No, yeah, it's like it's, it's a little weird. <laughs> All right, uh, dreams about taking a test? Literally never. Not once. Uh, I've had dreams where I've taken tests, but like not to the point where it's like. Any test I've ever taken in a dream like hasn't been an important or integral part of the dream. It's just like it was a setting. Yeah, I don't I don't get this, but uh Craig Hamilton Parker. <laughs> oh. CHP. <laughs> Jesus Christmas. Um to dream of failing an exam, being late for one, or being unprepared shows that you feel unprepared for challenges of waking life. Whoa, that's a fucking great analysis, CHP. Thanks, CH. I could have fucking guessed that drunk on my stoop. Uh, dreams about infidelity. Okay. Dude. I can guess this. Oh, yeah. This probably means that, like, you're unfulfilled in the bedroom or some shit. <laughs> oh, we back. I got my swagger bag. Oh, oh, oh. My man pooed it. Yeah, farm game back, baby. Damn, I smell that immediately, dude. No, that's not me. That's your garbage. Nah, I think it hit a hallway jet stream because that shit is in my in my brain right now. Nah. Nah, man. I'm tasting it. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. What do you think? I think you changed your diet for sure. Yeah. More fiber. Yeah, it's not very sweet. Shit hurt Carry on But yeah Infidelity is probably You're not fulfilled In the bedroom Or like With your partner and shit You be thinking about Like I'm not getting Sucked the way I want to get sucked Not me (laughs) Uh yeah It's an I mean I mean this one just Shorty ain't sucking me right (laughs) Ma I've been hugging the block (laughs) (laughs) That's right Hustle it rock I be having these dreams Where I be cheating It's cause like Shorty just not She ain't sucking me You know what I'm saying She ain't sucking me right Yeah man People talk like that around here That That's like a conversation I've heard on the one train Maybe 5,000 times Do you ever have one of like The ghetto <laughs> like people Like in your neighborhood Who are like older than you And you're like 17 years old And yeah. they try to offer you life advice And they say shit like You know the way to get a girl To like do what you want You just gotta <laughs> fucking Shit on her yeah. You know what I'm saying and you're like dude This guy gives worse The yo. worst But you have to sit there And be like yo I feel you man I'm like dude You're 27 And you're hanging out In a park With a 17 year old boy <laughs> <laughs> And you just gotta be like Yo with word no word, pussy word. I've never seen yeah. you With one bitch Yeah And then he's just like yo No well let me tell you Something about these girls Right They want you to like They want you to hit them They want you to like it's like damn f- Like throw sand in their face <laughs> 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 I want you to throw sand <laughs> oh, Spit all over me Yeah man Go to a girl's house Yo, Go up to a girl's house Yo, and when, su- she's, when she's sucking you You cut a fart in the face Yeah Alright Establish dominance on that ass yeah. Alright And, and like, right when you about to come Just bop on the top of the head not even to tell her, but just be like, I'm coming. You know what I'm saying? The yeah. bitches love that shit. They love I'm like, yo, honestly, this is the worst advice I've ever been given in my life. I'm like, oh no, Carl. I'm gonna try it. Yeah. But if you're wrong, I'm gonna be in trouble. Dude, my boss at one of my old jobs, not at Elite Daily, uh, I was working at a pizzeria at the time. He like calls me up, he's like, Yo, yo, come here, come here, come here. And I was like, What's up? And he goes, Yo, you ever cut a fart in a girl's face while she's sucking you off? And I was like, Dude. I gotta go like on a delivery right now. Yeah, because there's like dudes that are jokey about like but sex they're dead stuff, ass. but then there's dudes that are dead ass. Like, yo, you ever just like want to fucking choke a bitch? And you're like, yo, nah. I'm like, yo. <laughs> I'm like, I don't know. It's like, what do you mean though? Like, what do you mean? Like, like, like sexually choke or like, nah, but like, just like, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, nah, not it's right like, now. It's like, yo, you ever like paddle a bitch yeah like whoa you ever just like want a missile drop kick a bitch from the top of your bed you have a hurricane rana you (laughs) you have a spine bust of your bitch you ever give your girls a walt jericho or something (laughs) the boston crab i'm not a wrestler but i put a bitch in a boston crab i can't even have sex like that yeah i don't think you can um but yeah it's like issues with trust loyalty and communication dreams about (laughs) flying Motherfucker want to be like You want to like gain powers Like like you want to like become better 
No. Like you want to achieve your dreams. No. It's uh, a desire to flee or escape from the realities of life. <laughs> Although flying in dreams, over. you ever heard about like lucid dreaming? And apparently you have like complete control of your body within a dream when you become aware that you are in a dream. Yeah, of course. It's happened to me mad times. I've never had that. You've never had that? No. And be like, yo, I know I'm dreaming, dude. I want to go to one of those sensory deprivation tanks and just like. You won't make it. You won't make it. <laughs> because it's mad like, dude, you just spit right on my ass. <laughs> I watched it. I watched it go. Yeah, man. <laughs> but, you know. <laughs> Yo, I hear people freak out in there. That's fine. What does that mean? Like, are you claustrophobic? No. You're going to get scared then. Because I'm not claustrophobic? No, nah, I just want you to be scared. I know. You so badly wanted me to say yes to that that you just ignored my answer and kept going. <laughs> well, you spit on me. Threw, no, but threw, I... Threw me off. Well. Anyone who's claustrophobic, yeah, I, I totally get that. But, like, you have to go into it, like, knowing, like, you're about to be in a small space, very dark, and you're floating in, you know... I know what they are, Joe. Yeah. I think it would be cool. So A dream from there. Santa Gata Studios. I bet you I would have some good fucking gay sex dream on that fucking I'd jerk, tank. I'd jerk off in that tank. Okay. Why wouldn't you? Why wouldn't you? Floating no. like a baby? You're not going to jerk off? Listen, I was trying to get a freebie out of this. We talk about it. Some company like, oh, we got tanks. Now they're knowing you're jizzing in talk, the water. I could, get, I could talk us into any tank. In New York, you could talk us into I any could tank. I talk us into any tank. You just said on the li- on the show that you're gonna jerk off into their fucking salted water. Oh, I won't. I won't add more salt to your salted water. <sighs> Disgusting, guys. Freak. Guys, gonna be floating around like a baby for an hour, not even gonna think about touching his dick. I mean, I'm gonna think about it, but then I'm gonna go. I'm in a public place. It's not public in there. Yes, it is. Pop, 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 people are popping in. and Whatever, I, man. People would probably jerk off at the gym, sick freaks. Yeah, oh, oh this is another one of the things you do? I'd never. When's, do I look like I go to the gym? That's true. Okay. That's thank true. You. But you could go there just to jerk off. No, I go there to shower and hide. It's All my right. responsibility. Matt. That's my dream. I have dreams of going to the gym. <laughs> and they're awful. Nightmares. I'll tell you what, the last one dreams about pregnancy. I have this one all the time. That you're pregnant? No, I have dreams that Alana's pregnant. All the time? Not all the time, but I've had them multiple times. That makes times. sense, though, because you're getting to that point eventually. <sighs> yeah, but they're all scary, though, because it's like, it's never like, hey, we're trying to get pregnant. She's oh, like, it's like you a, have to an sit alien down. baby? She's like, you have to sit down. You have to sit down. Yeah. You have to sit down. Yeah. And I'm like, okay. And then she'll be like, listen, I am pregnant. And then, like, for some reason, like, she immediately becomes, like, Eight months pregnant <laughs> off the bat, off the bat, yeah. And I'm like, how did I not notice this for eight months? Yeah. And then she's like, okay, and we're gonna get this together. And then she cries, and then she just waddles off. Like, Why? Because she's pregnant. Yeah, but like pregnant bitches be waddling, waddling. Yeah, she was just yeah. Like, they do walk like penguins. And then she's like, you need to help me. I'm like, no, like get away from me. I said, maybe I'm scared of having a kid. Well, yeah, I think everyone is. I'm just scared of people waddling towards me. Yeah, I don't like that. I've seen that Batman movie with the penguin too many times. Yeah. He's a scary bastard. See, like... That makes sense, though, because that has to be on your mind. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. probably. That's what I was going to say. Um, but what do they... Uh, believes that pregnancy dreams might sometimes represent a woman's fear of being an inadequate mother. So this makes a lot of sense to what Maybe you're I'm saying. Maybe I'm going to be an inadequate father. Yeah, man. Why do I gonna... say that like Sam from Mine Sam? Yeah, I don't know. Father. Uh, I saw that movie recently which movie at one o'clock in the morning and when i tell you your boy was crying yeah i'm sam have you ever seen i'm sam yeah dude gotcha it got you holy shit yeah hey man come watch this movie it's fucking sad as shit you know what movie's mad sad oh man what's that holocaust movie with the kids oh Oh, the the boy. boy in the striped pajamas bro and they're talking through the fence and shit you know what other movies, Mad Sad? Life is Beautiful, that Italian movie. Never seen it. Dude, if you can tonight, watch that movie. Oh. It's super sad. You ever see Marley and Me? Yeah, dude. Oh, okay. I was going to say don't. No, I've seen Marley and Me. Oh, and- damn. And you had a you had a retreat. Yeah, a uh, lab, yeah. And then he died. Yeah, but, but like, I'm saying, I would ne- if I had that dog, I would never watch that movie. Yeah, but the thing about that fucking movie, too, is like they knew. I hate when they, they know what they're doing. You know what I mean? It's like, yo, we're going to fuck you. Yeah, yeah. We want, we want you to leave here in tears. And that movie didn't even end well. 
Yeah, no, it ended terribly. But it's real. It's real. Remember my dog Skip? Skip fucking dies too, dog. You, you want to hear something about my dog Skip? I'm Frankie Munez, yo, come on the show, dog. Yo, Frankie Munez, how the hell do you look 17 still? Yeah, it's aren't weird, you like a race bro. car driver now? Come on the show, kid. Come on the show, bro, because let me tell you, I got a bone to pick with you. When I was in like third grade, I was trying to impress a bunch of bitches, right? So right, I was like, right. yo, we're all going, going to the movies. Mm. We're going to see my dog Skip. New movie out, Frankie Munez. The guy was popping off at the hell time, bro. Hell yeah, Agent so, Cody Banks in a building. That's what I'm saying. Nickelodeon and shit. Whatever the fuck he was on, Malcolm in the Middle. Malcolm in the Middle with Brian Cranston. That was a big ass show. So he, I, we go, and now we got grave diggers hitting puppies with a fucking shovel. The boy's crying at his <laughs> own, own birthday, crying at my own birthday. You yeah. heard? And like a lot of people are looking at me like, yo, this boy's a bitch. So backfired on me. So I gotta go, yo, Frankie Munez, why would you accept a role like that? Because they would have never made that movie if your popping off ass wasn't in it. Yeah. It would have just went under the radar as one of those indie movies that wins a Grammy and no one fucking knows. Like, what is that? Yeah. You know, as it would be one of those movies, but he was in it. So I saw it. It was in, you know, mainstream theater. And then I was crying in front of all these girls. I was trying to impress. I would have thought that got you mad cheeks, though. No cheeks. Just crying. What age do you think it gets like you, right, cute let, to cry? Can I ask you a question and answer this seriously? Yeah. Do you think girls like dating guys with like emotional problems? What are our emotional problems? Like... Like mental health issues and like maybe like substance abuse issues. Oh, you're asking the wrong guy. I, wait, substance abuse issues? You think they like signing up for like alcoholics? No, no, no. I'm just saying. Like, do you think are some girls are drawn to that? I think that subconsciously sometimes maybe they want to save you. Not women in particular, but I think that anybody yeah. are drawn to. I was just saying because you were talking about that you were. No, I know, I know. Girls. I'm not trying to make you. I'm not putting you on an island. Yo, there. women, stop dating. <laughs> Stupid dudes. No, I think in general, some people are drawn to people who feel like someone could see potential. And it's like, oh, you know what? I could help them get to the next step, and then they'd be totally fine. And yeah. it's like, in a way, that's like a project. I don't think yeah. people sign up for crackheads, though. Yeah. And then it's like a weekend. He's like smoking meth on the roof, and, like, yeah, and he like, thinks he can fly. I may have, I may have made the wrong decision. <laughs> I may have made this wrong. My decision. boyfriend's on the roof, talking yeah, to aliens. He does that. He would leave him. He does that stuff. Yeah, I always wondered that. I guess it's an upbringing thing, but like, I don't know. Emotional problems? Are you saying because I cried, you thought girls would find that cute? Yeah, I thought like girls would third be like, grade, Yo, like, he's mad sensitive. I want to suck that sensitive dick. No, in third grade? In third grade, it's always like, how can we figure out how to make fun of the other sex? Oh, you want to hear something weird? Yeah, but you were inviting them to birthday parties? You were ahead of the game. I mean... Yeah. When did you first kiss a girl? I kissed a girl in third grade, though. Oh, I was mad young. You was, yeah, I was kissing them things. Yeah, I wasn't in third grade, I don't Probably think. fucking stroke yeah, this thing. Yeah, relax. It's getting gross now. I hope you're in a time machine. In Thank there. God I'm thicker than this thing. <laughs> you ever compare your penis to, like, inanimate objects? I don't. But wait, listen. I, <laughs> I want to just... I want to say this because I'll, I'll forget it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's fine. This is 100% true. You can ask Frankie. Okay. In, like... Fourth and fifth grade at recess at the school, right over here, we played this game with the girls. It was guys versus girls. Good name. <laughs> it wasn't called that. It was just those were the teams. All right. And the object of the game to like, it was basically tag, but in order to tag the other person, you had to pin the girls up against the wall. The hand, oh, the oh, oh wall. yeah, yeah, yeah. Did I tell you this? Yeah. Very Queens. Very would not last in this day and age. And it was very weird. Like, if I'm a parent looking at that from afar and be like, these kids got some stuff they are going to be like, that's going to come out later in their life. Thankfully, we're all very normal people. Yeah. But it was just a game we played. They would pin us up against the wall. And then they would be like, oh, you're it. You have to stay there now. But you had to pin them. Damn. Did you ever get a boner? No. Because it wasn't sexual at all. I would have got one. Just out of fear. No. Nah, yeah, you're always talking about fear boners. Yeah, dude. You think they're not real. They're fucking real, dude. Wouldn't it be really funny if they were super real and that was a way to kind of measure how scared you were to the point where in scary movies, people are just bonered Yeah. in scenes where it's like, yo, what's going on downstairs? And they had boners. They're like, yo, this guy's fucking afraid. Also, the other thing, I think we've talked about it on here, though, like in movies when like dudes just come in girls and they're like, okay with it. Sex in movies is so dumb. It's just like, ah, and it's like, you're not just going to like address this 
huge load I dumped down there. Yeah. Might want to clean that up. So I love when movies do address it. And she like gets up. Yeah. And goes, I'm like, yes, that's real. That's no a one thing. no one snuggles right after a CP. Yeah. Clean that thing up. The cream popsicle. Cream poppy. Yeah. I uh I, 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 whenever, like, when we had that conversation, then mm-hmm. when you watch sex scenes after that, it's just, like, funny. Because the dude's, like, not moving. He's just, like, oh. oh. And you're, yeah. like, yo, how? I would love to, Get like, some torque in those hips there, Johnny. If I was an actor, I would get hard constantly. I mean, yo, during a sex scene. There's no way I'm hard. not getting a boner. I would have to duct tape. Dude, if I'm, like, all right, you need to hump her for a while, dude, I'm getting a boner. I'm sorry. Yeah. Professional or not. I'm I getting hard, dude. Yeah, uh, it's. You can't fight blood. No. If I'm humping somebody, I'm going to get a boner. If I'm humping a wall, I'm going to get a boner. I could press my body up against that wall right now, and eventually I'd get hard. Yeah, you get a tingly, you get the, the tingly dick feeling. You know that? If I press my dick up against that, yeah, eventually my dick would just be like, there's, a, there's an outside, <laughs> s- like something, Stim- touching stimulant us. Stimulant right now. Yeah, and now I'm excited. Yeah. I wouldn't ever get hard enough to fight the wall off, though. Like, my dick would just stay No, hard no, there. no. Yeah, yeah. You're, yeah, that's what, exactly. Exactly. Sometimes, yeah. I just had a moment where I stepped outside of the show, and I'm listening to us talking. <laughs> yeah, it'd be like that. It'd be like that. It'd be sometimes. like that sometimes. It'd be like that sometimes. Hey, man. I got, I got nothing. I got nothing for you. No, nah, I mean, like sexually, or do you mean like right now? Uh, I mean... You mean in this realm or in your dream realm? Because yeah. I might have some stuff for you tonight. Yeah, I might have subconsciously sucked you. I don't know. <laughs> that would make all this a little weirder. Bro, if I sucked you in a dream, I would 100% tell you because it would be hilarious. Yeah. Uh, yes. I, it, I, there would be no hiding. I almost hope it happens. <laughs> <laughs> yo, I wonder if like, yo, a friend of mine... Had a dream. He walked down an alley and I was getting ass raped. <laughs> Yo, I'm serious. I'm serious. I'm serious. My friend, my friend, Ben. Yeah. He said he, he said he turned down an alleyway and I was, and I was in an alley just getting fucked. Yeah. I swear oh, to God. I, I swear. Don't, I don't mean to laugh. No, I swear on all that's holy that, that, is a true story. I'm not saying that for comedic effect here. He had a dream that I was just getting fucking fucked, but like rape though. Did he help you? No. Left you. Yeah. So I, I deciphered that. Can't trust them. <laughs> Can't trust them. You'll meet him at the wedding. Yeah, trust the guy. Like you'll, you'll, you'll meet him at the wedding, and you and you ask him about that the Danny in the alley dream. Yeah, I'm gonna pull him to the side, like it's a serious conversation. Like, let me, let me. Oh, ask I'm you gonna a bring it up in my wedding. I'm be like, yo, tell him about that time I got raped in that alley. Yeah. Yeah. So like, let me ask you a question. Why didn't you save Danny that day? <laughs> Why'd you let that guy keep fucking his butt? Damn, yeah, man. I'm sorry. Man, we're, yeah, it's alright. We're gonna get demonetized now. Oh uh, yeah. I mean, I, you know. <laughs> Before with the whole like This whole podcast has been just <laughs> <laughs> You know I'm gonna like... request a manual review I always think about that Because on YouTube for people who don't know Like if you upload something I'm sure they have like these like Little triggers Little or guideline words So if that happens Like if I put sex in a title It'll just get like flagged But then you re- you can request a manual review and then someone will actually, I'm assuming, someone will actually watch it and go through it and be like, okay, you know what? This is not what we thought it was. It's more educational or it's whatever. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. Which this isn't, but. No. Uh, we try to be sometimes. I mean, we try, but we don't. You made up like five words this episode. Uh, don't exacerbate me. I always, th- <laughs> I always think about when I do request manual review, who's watching it? And they're, like, they're probably like, what the fuck is this thing? <laughs> I wonder if they like laugh though and they're like, ah, oh, man, I really don't want to demonetize this, but I got to I really think about like our eight situations like that. I really think our podcast is so like unique, like the conversations we have. Yeah. To the point where I'm not even completely sure if this works on a very large scale. Like, I don't know if like millions of people would be like, yeah. 
<laughs> no, no, I'll be honest with you. I think that's where our personalities come in. Like us as like our own like entity. Papes. I didn't make that word up. Yeah. But like, if net like if we were on Netflix, like we we'd be a popular show on there for sure. You think so? Yeah, of course. <laughs> oh man, I think it would be polarizing. But either people would be like, "Oh, this is so funny," or they'd be like, "This is the dumbest fucking." Yeah, thing. but it would be like one of those things that like you ever see Tim and Eric. That show? No. Watch Tim and Eric. Oh well, you watched um, uh, the fuck? Uh, yeah, guys, there's motorcycles. Oh, Tim Robinson. Uh, Tim Robinson show. Um, not everybody watches that. Yeah, like, but I, I thought it was funny. I, I thought it was funny. Like, we, it's okay <laughs> to be like you could be a niche these days, which is cool. <laughs> niche. Like, you could be a cult classic before like needing that time to be a, a classic. I would love a cult. I would love to have like someone here who's like a super fan. He's like, yo, I'll just do the dishes. Would you, I like would that. love to. Right, I cool. would love to be with, like, like Fight Club. Just have a bunch of people that yeah, are just like, yeah. I'm just gonna like forget about my family. But <laughs> his name is Robert Paulson. I, I, In I, death, we have a name. I just realized that guy's from fucking Mindhunter. Uh, oh, the blonde hair guy? No, that's Jared Leto. I was about to say. I was I'm like, talking about the guy who's like, In death, we have a name. His name was Robert Paulson. That's the guy from Mindhunter. The cop, not the skinny one. The other. Oh, one. that's him. Yeah. Damn, I haven't seen Fight Club in a while. It's a great movie. It is. It is. Yeah. I've been fucked like that since grade school. So, so <laughs> <laughs> I haven't been fucked like that since grade school. But uh, wait, what were you just saying before that? Eh, man, I don't know. I, I forgot. But eh, like, I you want to know? It's like, Let listen, it. like, are we everyone's cup of tea? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude. Love that tea. You know, and it's like you know, I I, I look at it like this. Everybody's cup of cappuccino, cappuccinos, <laughs> and uh, and and if you don't like us, you know, suck us in our dreams. Suck my dreams. That's what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? Suck, suck my, my dreams, dreams tonight. tonight. Suck my dreams tonight. Oh, I don't know where to go, but I know I'm gonna suck, suck my dreams tonight. Oh, yeah. I mean that's 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 all. That's all. Where can they find you? Uh, at Danny Lil Priori, um, on Twitter and Instagram, and then maybe in some like creepy bar tonight in my dreams, like Twin Peaks. Like come and just fucking rail me. <laughs> <laughs> this is the gayest I've ever been on a show, by the way, <laughs> and I'm all for it. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Oh God. Um, you guys, <laughs> I'll also go check out. Um, the other podcast on Santa Gata Studios. Um, the other, Stank with Dan and Frank. I forgot. The Stank with Dan and Frank uh, and other people's lives as well. Um, we're coming back, I believe, September 28th Ooh. Uh, with our episode. I'm really excited about this season. We have a lot of, a lot of cool episodes lined up. You said um, errata. Errata? We said errata. Errata. Errata episodes. Um, but yeah, go check those out. Uh, other people's lives and the Stank uh, podcast. And... Uh, our Patreon. So shout out to our patrons. Uh, Patreon.com slash The Basement Yard. We appreciate you guys. Uh, if you want to sign up for the Patreon, go to Patreon.com slash The Basement Yard. You get every episode a week early and some bonus content, some Q&A shit, blah, blah, blah. And uh, yeah, that is all. Yeah. S- see you guys next time. Mm-hmm. <laughs>